Hello everybody, this is Vincent Verwij for Foldable News. Two weeks ago in Barcelona we saw the introduction of the Huawei Mate X. And today the Chinese company has allowed us a couple of minutes hands-on time with the new device. And we're also talking to the General Manager Europe of Huawei, that's Walter Yi. We plan to launch in most of the European countries for the first wave. Like you mentioned about Netherlands is one of the most important one. And Germany, UK, France, Italy will be the first wave as well. What about customers in the USA? Are they able to buy this device in the summer because you have some problems uh, with, the, uh, with the 5G uh, discussion in, in the United States? Yeah, in in USA, we have no plan to launch the product yet. This is the world, the fastest foldable 5G phones. It's a full wheel di display. The 6.6 in the in the front. The Mate X will be the first foldable device of Huawei. It has top-notch specifications. The display has more than 5K resolution when unfolded. It has a fast Kirin processor and three cameras made by German brand Leica, up to 40 megapixels with 4K video recording. But the biggest feature is its foldability. It can change from a smartphone into a tablet on the fly. We were impressed with the build quality. The device feels sturdy and touching the display is almost like touching a regular glass display. However, the lock and unlock mechanism is something someone needs to get used to. You can use this as a normal smartphone, a normal set, but have full view. And they support another much more user experience. Like for instance, when you want to read a book, or you watch videos, or watch films, you can split screens. One screen, you can watch it. Another screen, you take notes. On the software side, clearly some work still has to be done. Changing from smartphone mode into tablet mode and back was not always smooth. Clearly this is pre-release software. The device was running Android 9 and Huawei's custom Emotion UI in the unreleased version 9.1. Huawei thinks the device will be popular among business customers. That's not surprising because the 2300 euro price tag is too expensive for most regular consumers. Walter Yi reveals to Foldable News that Huawei is working on software and accessories targeted at business users, such as an add-on keyboard. Do you have plans for business people to bring, for example, a keyboard? which can go to get a Bluetooth keyboard or click on keyboard for this device? That, there's a possibility for that. Indeed, we, there's a lot, a, a lot more applications. But so far, we are focused how we can bring this product to the market as quick as possible, which I talk about in middle of this year, maybe July or June. Moreover, we are working for more applications, not only for the keyboards, but also more software adaptation to this big screen and photo smartphones. We will bring a full review of this extraordinary device in June. Stay tuned.